Hi, my name is Gavin Cooper and this is a pre-recorded presentation for the 2021 meeting of the Society for Mathematical Psychology. So I want to talk today about some approaches in reducing the number of dimensions when I'm modelling many attribute choice. In particular, when I'm talking about many attribute choice, I'm really referring to multi-attribute preferential choice. This is where people exhibit preferences either in their purchasing behaviour or in explicit choices between multiple different options that vary along a number of different dimensions. And I'm thinking now about ones that have more than two or three attributes. Um, so in this case here, we've got two different phones, one uh, that the very long number of different attributes. So the display size, the battery size, the camera quality, and presumably also their price and maybe brand as well. Now, in the past, I've done some modeling work in terms of teasing out the processing architecture, how people process all the individual attributes and integrate them into a final choice. But they've always been limited to maybe two different attributes on one or two different options. So I want to extend that out into uh, this many attribute choices. So the question in a lot of this work is, how do we represent all these attributes when we're making decisions? Do we represent each attribute individually and have some kind of very high dimensional representation of the object? Or do we collapse information across multiple attributes and kind of simplify it down, at, down into maybe a choice between a high quality, high price option and a low quality, low price option? To have teeth this apart, I've created an experiment where a bunch of different people have been making choices between different phones. Uh, these are the options, uh, the very long five different attributes. And then additionally to this, as well as the preferential choice component, I've also given them those same pairs of phones and made them ask them to rate the similarity between those two options. And that similarity is what I'm going to be using as like a, an input to my modeling of the preferential choice. The way I do that is using multidimensional scaling. So this work was highly uh, inspired by Quentin and Michael Lee's work on MDS. And first look that we're going to be doing at data is to look at the group level MDS solution and see whether we can fit that with a uh, use that as input for a private model of the choices and compare that to a private model that has all of the attributes uh, influencing the model. So you can see here in uh, red are all the individual phones, the individual options. We see that screen size, memory, resolution and price all kind of correlate quite highly with each other in this MDS solution and camera megapixel is kind of orthogonal to that. But I want to do more than this. I want to look at what each individual's MDS solution uh, provides and the input that can have to their individual choices. I want to feed this into a hierarchical Bayesian model. But that raises a few problems. When I fit the MDS to each individual's data, each individual's similarity choices, then I get a large degree of variation in how the MDS solution looks. So in this particular instance, all these four participants have quite similar patterns in terms of their data. They have camera megapixels orthogonal to the other four attributes. But you can see there's differences in the actual solutions here. So in these uh, top right and bottom two ones, you can see that the solution, uh, the vectors here shown in blue for the attributes are rotated compared to each other. So simple rotation. And also there's some difference in terms of the scale of these vectors. And I'll need to account for that to feed into my modeling. As well as those two features, the rotation and the scaling, you can also see in this top left hand one uh, that this has, has actually been reflected around one of the axes. So uh, going forward, I want to uh, apply rotations, translations, um, reflections and scaling in order to fit individual similarity judgments to the individual preference choices. Thank you.